Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day and ready to learn about plants. Just to introduce you to what we're going to be doing during this lab, some of the stations, like stations one through three, you're going to be answering questions based on the provided information. You can answer these questions either while you watch the video or after you've watched the video or read the provided information, whichever is easiest for you. At other stations, like stations four through 10, you're going to be drawing or sketching a provided specimen. It will probably be easiest for you to do this after you've watched the video or read the provided information. The last two stations, you're going to be recording data and answering some questions. You'll want to record the data while you watch the video and answer the questions after the video has ended. To start off this lab, we're going to be talking about plant taxonomy. Taxonomy is arranging organisms into groups based on their similarities or differences. Biologists generally categorize organisms into five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. These kingdoms are then further divided into large groups called phyla. Scientific classification or taxonomy typically has two main goals, to arrange organisms so they're easy to refer to and to arrange organisms to demonstrate their relationship to each other. You may be wondering why taxonomic information is important. First, it has predictive value. If two plants are related, they may offer the same resources. For example, an anti-cancer drug was extracted from the plant Maytenis buchanani in Kenya. However, the population of that plant was very small. It was predicted that Maytenis rothiana in India would offer the same compound, and it did. Taxonomic information also increases our understanding of biology and evolution and provides us with a method of cataloging. In addition, it can lead to human social impact. Taxonomic information shows us that each species is unique and thus irreplaceable. This should motivate us to pursue conservation. Lastly, taxonomic information has practical value. If we know how plants are related to each other, we can more easily determine what's edible, poisonous, medicinal, and more. So you can see taxonomic information, especially related to plants, is extremely important. I also want to give you some information about what it might be like to pursue plant taxonomy as a career. So I reached out to one of the plant taxonomists at UC Davis, Dr. Daniel Potter. He both studies and teaches plant taxonomy. He is going to share with you what his career is like and how he got to be where he is today. So let's go to Dr. Potter directly and hear what he has to say. Hello, my name is Dan Potter. I'm a professor in the Department of Plant Sciences at the University of California, Davis, and I am a plant taxonomist. So what is a plant taxonomist? Well, taxonomy is the branch of biology that deals with the naming and classification of organisms. Taxonomists in general are fascinated by biological diversity, and they seek to understand the origins of that diversity through the processes of evolution, and then to build classification systems that reflect our understanding of that diversity. So plant taxonomists are scientists who study the similarities and differences between plants and their evolutionary relationships to one another, and then use that information to designate and name taxonomic groups such as species, genera, and families. I consider myself very fortunate uh, to have a job as a university professor, which means I get to do a broad range of activities related to my interests in plant taxonomy, including teaching courses, advising undergraduate and graduate students, participating in various outreach activities, such as giving talks and leading field trips, and of course, conducting research in plant taxonomy. And a great thing about research in plant taxonomy is that it too includes a broad range of activities, including field trips to interesting and beautiful, sometimes exotic places to observe plants in their native habitats and make collections of them. And then lab work that in, can encompass detailed examinations of the plant's morphological features, as well as extracting and sequencing DNA and analyzing the DNA sequences to understand the evolutionary relationships between plants. And then uh, plant taxonomic research also includes a component of examining collections of plant specimens that other botanists have made over the years, sometimes very old uh, specimens that can be decades or even centuries old. A variety of factors contributed to my choosing a career in plant taxonomy. 
I grew up in a rural area of New York State in a lovely home surrounded by forests and fields. And my parents weren't botanists, they weren't even biologists, but they were avid outdoors people, nature lovers and gardeners. And so I grew up with a great appreciation of plants and it was really their influence that inspired me to wanna to study biology. And then that was reinforced by some excellent teachers in elementary and high school. And my particular interest in botany and then eventually in plant taxonomy was due to some outstanding and inspiring professors who taught and mentored me in college and graduate school. So I earned a bachelor's degree in biology and a PhD in botany. My favorite part of being a plant taxonomist is also what I think of as perhaps the most basic aspect of being a plant taxonomist, which is the experience of getting to know a new plant species. And by getting to know it, I mean learning to recognize the species, learning to know what its distinguishing features are, where you can expect to find it, how it's similar to and different from other plant species, the variation that occurs within that plant species, and then how it fits into the diversity of plants overall. I love that process because it feels simultaneously like making a new friend and adding one more piece to my understanding of the puzzle of the world around me. If you're interested in a career in science and in plant taxonomy in particular, I strongly encourage you to pursue it. We need scientists now more than ever to address many challenges facing our species and our planet. Over the past few decades, biologists worldwide have been calling attention to the threats posed by loss of biodiversity due to growing human populations, urbanization, conversion of wild lands to agriculture, pollution, and climate change. And those losses affect all kinds of organisms, including, of course, plants. And plants, we all know, are so crucial to our well being and that of all other species on the planet. So, plant taxonomists have a key role to play in addressing that concern about loss of biodiversity by advancing our understanding of the diversity around us, past, present, and future, documenting it, and creating these classification systems that help us communicate about it. So, it's a really varied fascinating and fun career, and it's important. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me anytime. Thank you so much for your attention.